Welcome to the Centos channel. Hey guys, so what we have here is a uh, Savage Model 64 FXP uh, chambered in 22 caliber. Um, initially just uh, picked this rifle up just more or less for the kids to be able to use uh, when we go out to the range. Um, a very, uh, very, you know, very nice plinker, I would say, for, for $164. Uh, there's only a few things on here that I would actually change. Um, uh, one of the first things that we're going to go and actually, and, and actually this video is going to show you um, the how-tos and actually to, to replace and modify certain parts of this actual, um, this rifle. And um, I'll try to go as, as detailed as, as detailed as I possibly can. Um, with the actual rifle but um it would try to make this thing short that way just more or less you guys can get an idea and if you have any questions you could post that on the, on the comment section in the bottom and i can more or less just message you um so first thing what we're going to do is we're going to go and <clears throat> check the chamber make sure there's nothing in there so as, as you guys can all see there's nothing in there dry fire it um so a few things that we're going to we're going to do is that we're going to replace the the magazine um magazine release so any of you guys who own a uh, a model 64 are familiar with the uh, the kind of stubby magazine release that it has that it comes with um, and actually I'm just going to show you real quick <clears throat> it actually takes some of you guys will take a little bit longer to try to remove this um, initially when I first got the, uh, the the rifle I actually had a little bit of an issue I had to look on YouTube just to you know find out ways to, to quickly remove the mag so the, the quickest way to do it would be uh, the two fingers here what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab each side of the uh, the actual magazine release you're gonna push that forward at the same time pull the actual mag out um, so it's, it's not that hard but for uh, for younger kids, if they want to go and take it off, um, obviously we don't want them taking off the actual magazine, loading it on their own. But uh, for the purpose of making it easier for uh, for for new shooters, uh, we're going to modify that. What we're going to do is we're going to actually replace that that actual <clears throat> mag release with uh, an extended one, and actually have one here to show you guys. So this is going to be the actual mag release that we're going to be replacing it with. Uh, this is uh, made by DI Products uh, INC. I actually get it at their website, uh, di di products inc dot com. Um, it was about twenty bucks as far as the uh, the actual cost of this. Uh, I'm gonna go and show you how to break down a rifle <clears throat> and install this piece. And uh, the other thing that we're also gonna be replacing is the charging handle. So the charging handle itself, um, it's fairly short. Um, you know, I did notice when I initially had the uh, the kids actually uh, kind of mess around with it. Um, you know, showing them how to go in and and charge the actual hand uh, charge the actual rifle they're having a little bit of an issue so what I ended up doing was I went to the same website uh, where I got the uh, the extended um, mag release uh, and actually bought a, an extended uh, charging handle um, so it kind of makes it just a little bit longer makes it a little bit more surface for them to grab so they can charge it a little bit easier so on the next couple scenes here what we're gonna do is we're gonna break down the actual rifle um and we'll see you soon all right so the first thing we're going to do and I, we've already checked to make sure that there's nothing in yet in the chamber here um we're going to go and take off the two allen screws that's actually underneath uh the the butt stock right here um the stock assembly i should say um and that actually requires a let's see a 5 30 seconds allen is what it's going to take in order for us to be able to take this off so i've got one of those multi allen you know set so if i screw up or get the wrong size i could just more or less take that so i kind of pre-broke this earlier um well let's we'll say broke it apart so i didn't tighten it up a whole lot makes it a little bit easier so now that piece actually comes off Okay, I'm gonna put that aside, make sure you don't lose any of these pieces. So now, the actual stock itself should separate fairly easy away from the actual bolt carrier and the actual um, barrel here. I'm just gonna go and put that aside. So, the only other two things that you would have to remove in this situation, and I'm actually gonna use uh, something to point out here. Let's see. So, you're gonna need to break off this 
looks like a, you need a flathead. Okay, I don't really know what it's called, but it's a screw. And you have, you have a fill. Phillips right behind that which is right here we're gonna break those two pieces and this whole magazine assembly is gonna actually come right out okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that next so let me grab my tools so we've got the Phillips the Phillips not the best um, you may want to grab a larger one uh, for this purpose I'm just more or less making sure I have something to, to use so we're going ahead and take that off so when you take that off, it actually comes with a star washer. Just make sure you kind of put that back in there. Um, you're going to need that later on. <clears throat> and then we're going to remove the Phillips that I showed you earlier. What that's going to do is it's going to free up the magazine. free up this magazine right here so what you can do is once you remove those two uh, two bolts <clears throat> just kind of lift up a little bit and wiggle that thing out and the whole assembly comes out so this here is what we're if you look here this is what we're going to be replacing okay so if you notice uh, it's kind of hard for it to focus but uh there's a spring in there and uh the actual assembly is held on by a it's like a pin in there so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to hammer that pin out, okay, um, and make sure you don't lose the actual spring itself. So if you're doing this, just make sure you're doing it in an area where it's free and clear of, you know, anything where, you know, obviously it's just a clean area uh, clean area to work with. That way if you do end up losing this or this flings off somewhere, it's, it's kind of easy for you to find it. Um, so what I'm going to do, and, and I'm going to show you a quick way of, of taking this out. Now the uh, the process of putting it back in is, is a little bit harder so we're going to use let's see here so what we're going to do is we're going to use actual magazine um, and what I'm going to do is if you look in the magazine there's a little slit right here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of line up more or less the uh, the the pen here I'm just going to put it up right against there um, probably be in this in this kind of fashion and what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock that off and what I have here is a uh, it's just like a little rivet what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a rivet to, to kind of punch that out. Uh, some of you guys can use a pin. It doesn't really matter. All you're doing is just is just trying to get that piece to, to kind of kind of fall through. You're using something to, to push that pin through. So. Okay. So now I've knocked it all the way through. Okay. All I gotta do is kind of more or less just press that in just a little bit more. And you can see the only thing holding it in place now is the the um, the rivet. So, and this is the actual pin itself. Okay. Put that aside here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my my index just to kind of cover that area here, so we we don't lose that uh, that spring. Let's see if I can get up against there. So you see the spring right there. I'm just going to put my finger in there. I'm going to go and put my middle finger around the actual magazine uh, release. Pull that bad boy out. Okay. And what you should have is the spring and that uh, and the uh, magazine release. So there it is. I'm going to go ahead and put that down. All right. Um, I'm going to go and cut the video just because it's going to take a little bit of time for me to get this thing on. It does, uh, you still ha you have to kind of finagle it. Uh, but in, in a nutshell, what you're doing <clears throat> is you're going to match up, you're basically putting all this stuff back together. So if you look, and I'll kind of put it up against the camera here so you can kind of see, um, you're putting a magazine release. Now you can't, there's no way for you to install this upside down right because you're gonna need that little niche right there in order for you to be able to lay the spring on there okay now if you look at the spring the spring is shorter on one end than it is on the other okay and the way that kinda of goes on is um, I'll do a little mock-up so you guys can see so the magazine um, let's see here magazine and the magazine release is gonna be up here and they're butted up together um, you have to line up the holes the short end will be going towards the the upper end of this or actually I should say away from the actual uh, magazine release so short end 
try to make this as easy as possible and what you're going to do is doo -doo -doo. so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to use either a flat head and what you're going to do is you're going to kind of depress the spring you're going to press you're going to press it down Oop, kind of dropped it and this is why i said make sure you have a nice clean area to work with so you can find the spring okay um you're, you're more or less what you're going to do is you're going to depress it and then as you're depressing it you're going to stick um let's see here your your phillips or not your phillips but uh your your rivet right through there and then what you're going to do is you're going to go in and and basically hammer in the other piece through this way so all you're doing is kind of using this as a guide so once you've got everything in place you're able to put that pin in kind of back this off just a tad bit and then insert the uh, the other pin in okay so in the next uh, scene this piece will be in and then we can continue with the actual uh, modification all right so we've actually hammered in the uh, pin itself and if you look at it see how the orientation is short will be up top here and then the long would be just a little bit lower down here um, and this is going to be the extended mag release now if you look at it right I can use one finger instead of two right to actually remove that uh, that magazine out of there and I could show you right here magazine will go in if I can get it to go in and just to remove it all you're doing is just using your finger okay um, and just one more thing here uh, a lot of people have issues with this magazine um, if you look at my magazine here um, it looks like it's been dremeled out and that's because we did um, initially when we first fired this we had an issue with the actual uh, bullet itself kind of separating from the casing uh, before it even hits the actual um, uh, the actual uh, barrel here um, so what we ended up doing was we kind of dremeled it kind of used it as a, as a little bit of a step in order for it to, to be able to go in uh, <clears throat> to, to actually uh, release out of the uh, the magazine just a little bit smoother uh, so the feed ramp is a little bit polished here and just the reason for that is more or less because of that issue that we were having now um, some you know 64s out there doesn't have that issue but uh, for majority of the ones that I've kind of gone through um, as far as the videos I've seen and also people that have actually owned them uh, they do have the, they tend to have that issue so um, it doesn't hurt for you to go and do it anyways uh, just to get it so it saves you a little bit of time at the at the range so and that's the uh, the magazine release fairly easy to install uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to replace the the extended uh, charging handle okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to kind of put a little bit of stuff aside this is the old one um, you can you know take away whatever you want to do to it um, so here's the uh, the actual assembly here <clears throat> so in order for us to be able to go and release the actual bolt assembly out uh, we're gonna need to take the uh, the barrel collar which is this piece right here along with a nut now the nut itself is a let's see the, the sizing here it's a uh, 7 16th um, I'm gonna quickly just break this uh this nut off all right open this up there it is right there and we're gonna go and more or less kind of wiggle that off and that's the barrel collar now if you notice how it looks one side is longer than the other the one that's longest will actually go into that little niche right here okay so just when you just food for thought when you're putting it back together so the barrel will kind of wiggle right off it's fairly easy okay put that aside and now the actual charging handle itself will go forward now for some of you you'll have that issue you can't put it forward the reason for that is it's still <clears throat> it's been charged so what you got to do is you have to pull it pull the trigger and actually releases the actual charging assembly I mean, the uh, the whole <clears throat> the bolt uh, the bolt forward so what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of move it up to there and what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull that charging assembly uh, the charging handle and you're gonna grab the new one you're gonna put that in place okay and just make sure you're kind of clearing that uh, that area right there okay go ahead and charge that and that's not going anywhere now <clears throat> one of the things that I did uh, before we actually uh, did the before we did this is I um, actually modified the stock a little bit now for the DIY uh, DI uh, product uh, charging handle you actually have to let me pull the stock here 
you actually have to shave this down just a little bit okay now it's not a whole lot I'm probably looking at maybe I don't know um, see if I look at the thickness probably a quarter quarter of an inch if that um, no more than that I should say probably like a yeah I would say about a quarter of an inch less than that um, so what you're doing is you're more or less making room for the actual charging assembly now I had an issue with this last time I installed it um, I was not able to let me see here I was not able to lock the uh, the bolt in, in the rear and just the reason for that was that this was actually rubbing up against it so if I put it on there and if you look actually a better way to go look look at it would be around this way so you see how there's there's a little bit of a gap in here initially there there was none um so what i ended up doing was just kind of grab the file and just kind of ran it up and down this thing right here and uh, just to the point where i was able to actually make clearance in there um well once you've done that <clears throat> you're not gonna have that issue as far as uh you know, having issues with the stock on and uh, locking that actual bolt assembly back okay so now that we've got that on there what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish up the rest of the the install which would be next would be to put the barrel back on and if you look in there there's a little slit in there where the this little assembly goes into go ahead and just line that up Let's see if take it back off this right here will line up inside there Let's see one of the slits okay oops all right so once we've got that on there what you're going to do is you may have to pull just a little bit you want to make sure that the the two um two areas here are actually matching and what i'm what i mean by the two areas is uh there's a slit on the barrel and the slit here they have to match okay <clears throat> and what you're going to do is you're going to use your barrel collar and you're going to go and snap that in there or actually slide it in there if you can So now that's on there, just make sure it's nice and even, left to right. Okay, now once we've got that on there, you're going to hand thread the uh, the actual bolt that's going to go in there. And uh, you're going to tighten it up. So it doesn't take that much, it's 22. Um, no need to torque any of this stuff down just make sure it's hand tight uh, you're not going to have that issue of it backing off okay so now we've got installed um the extended charging handle <coughs> as well as this so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to install the uh, the magazine back into the actual or uh, the carrier and the way to do that is again just reversing the process i'm going to kind of move this actually I'm flip it around so you can see a little bit better So, this area right here is going to go right inside here, where, where the actual barrel nut we just tightened, okay? It's going to go right in there. Actually, let's put this the rear rear end first, and then it's going to go right into the little pocket, push forward, okay? And then what you're doing is just more or less <coughs> reversing uh, reversing the uh, what you were doing earlier the, to take it off. So now we're going to put the Phillips head with the uh, star washer. And we're going to put, put that closest, closest to the magazine, okay? Just hand tight. And then next, you're going to go and grab this piece right here. Make sure that the lock washer is on there. And that's going to go into the, the slot, I mean, the, uh, the other pocket right next to it right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to finagle it in there. Use our flathead. And just hand tight you don't want to over tighten it <clears throat> you go clear the rest of the stuff out and what we're gonna do is we're now just gonna we're in a process now of just being able to um, just more or less mating the the assembly uh, onto the stock but before we do that you can actually back that up a little bit you can do a a, um, a dry fire or test fire press and hold the actual trigger itself Cock it again, let go. Okay. 
you're doing a functions check is what that is um, so what you're doing again just, just want to show you see if I can just kind of put this in here so what you're doing is you are charging pulling the trigger pressing and holding the trigger you're going to charge again you're going to feel this thing kind of come back you're going to let go you're going to hear a click and then press the trigger again that tells you that you put everything back together properly okay so you want to you want to do that before you put the uh, the actual stock on and just the reason for that is once you have the stock in um, <clears throat> I mean even though there's only two <clears throat> two allen, uh, allen keys to remove you just want to make sure you're, you're not you know backtracking especially after you've, you've already put everything together so <clears throat> to put this back together you're basically just putting the uh, the the receiver onto the stock and the uh, the two screws and the plate that need to go onto the uh, the back end of this now if you look it looks almost like a huge keyhole right you got the uh, little circle right here right and the base right there this will kind of look the same exact way so you're just matching up the two okay so put that in there again hand thread it okay you don't want to use any power tools initially and then what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and let's see here let's hand tighten it Looks like we're we're done as far as the uh, the mods for this. Um, actually, I take that back. We're just, there's a few more things that we're going to be adding on. So, with the extended mag release, it makes it a little bit easier for us to actually mess with the find it a little bit easier. Okay, and then the uh, charging handle. You can see it's sticking out just a lot further than it was before. Okay. So the other thing that we're gonna add on to it, and actually just using two more things just to, to complete the actual rifle itself. So it does come um, stock with the uh, swivel base studs. Um, so you can actually mount these on yourself if um, if you don't have one already on your rifle. And I know some models um, don't come with them, but I know the FXP already comes with it. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a bipod. Um, and also, we're going to add a scope. So, just hang tight. We're going to grab the, uh, the pieces here, and then uh, we should be able to go and snap those things in uh, fairly quickly here. So, the bipod here was more or less an eBay brand. Um, don't even know if it have, even has a brand, but uh, for the most part, this is um, it's a 22. It's not going to have a huge amount of kick. Uh, you don't need you know a Harris bipod and spend you know 12 million dollars on those <clears throat> in order for, for for you to actually have one on here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to install this on there. And um, for you new guys that don't know how to install it, um, if you look here, it's a looks like a, a clamp more or less, and, and it has pins on there. And what you're doing is you're lining up that pin with this pin, uh, the pin hole in here for the uh, the swivel. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna make those two pieces up, hold it in place, and you got to screw in the back end of this. And all you're doing is just kind of tightening it up. So if you look as you tighten up, this area right here actually pulls it uh, pulls it out. This area right here will pull out as you're screwing this thing in. Remember, righty tidy, lefty loosey. Okay, and now if you look, it's already almost on there. Just gotta tighten up just a tad bit more. Okay, so this one has the spring assist, kind of like the Harris bipod. Okay. okay, just make sure this is nice and tight so this unit won't move out of there. Um, and then what we're going to do next is we're going to add a, a replacement, um, a replacement scope. So the uh, scope that we've got here is the uh, Bushnell 4x32. Uh, it is a fixed sight. Uh, again, we're not trying to shoot, you know, 400, you know, 400 yards with this, uh, with this rifle, uh, 50, maybe a hundred at the most, um, you know, 150, if the guys get a little bit better at it, but, um, all we're doing is just mounting this piece back in. So just move this out now for all you guys out there that's that's uh 
huge rifle guys um, we all know this is not the right way to do it but I'm just more or less just making sure you know I can kind of finalize it for the video um, as far as the appearance wise now what you would do is you would actually take these two uh, top ends off um, make sure you line it uh, line it up uh, appropriately and actually have the uh, <clears throat> the uh, the actual scope itself leveled uh, but we're not going to do that in this video we may do that in the next uh, next upcoming ones but for the most part the rifle is done so can move this around here kind of get a better look at the actual rifle and there it is hope you guys enjoyed the video and subscribe if you like um, and comment on the bottom if you have any questions thank you